Hello Aquarius and welcome to your October 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, so I hope you're well. As always, the reading won't be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So let's see what we have for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for October. Now we're going to pull in overarching energy, look at some general energies too, and then look specifically at love, romance, relationships, money, career, and any other thread that comes out. Nine of Wands. And the Three of Cups. Let's see what we have with that. Six of Cups. Nine of Swords. The Sun. And we have Justice. All right, let's have a look at love, romance, relationships for you. What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Aquarius. Love, romance, relationships, please, for Aquarius. October. Thank you. Two cards. Uh, three cards have come out. Page of Wands. Eight of Wands. The Two of Pentacles. Let's see what we have. Money, career. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Two cards. The Star, which I love seeing in the reading because this is your major arcana, Aquarius. And we have the Five of Cups. I'm going to pull you an Angel Answer card. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. Thank you. Be assertive. Let's see what we have for Aquarius. Thank you. Love Romance. Angel Romance card. What do we have for Aquarius? Thank you. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Let's pull a card from Money Areas. What do we have for Aquarius? Face your financial fears. When you are honest with yourself about fears of success or failure, they can no longer control you. Be free of hidden fears by exposing them to the light of awareness and you'll realise that in fact you have nothing to fear that every successful person has struggled with and released these self-doubts. Let's pull some additional messages which may be relevant for October for you. I'm going to pull a Power Animal Oracle card. What do we have for Aquarius? Angel Spirits Guide, thank you. I turned over quickly. Giraffe. Foresight. You are able to see what's in store for your future. So things are going to become clear to you. I feel. Everything will become clear. So if you don't see it straight away know that it will. You will see the light here. What do we have as a number card for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. 
number 67, physical activity. Now, physical activity can be about health regimes, exercise, lifestyle energy. It can also be something has been a lot of hard work too. Might have felt that. Something has been draining or uh, taken a lot of energy. Let's see what we have as a fortune cookie. Opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. I feel the cards are connecting across the board here, Aquarius. Sometimes I can ask for categories, but, you know, spirit will say what it wants to say. So I'm just going to take it uh, across the board for each message that I'm getting here. Let's have a look at money, career, finances. Now, justice in its purest sense is all about balance. Uh, so there's a strong sense of, of that sense of balance coming back into your life in some way. Justice can be linked with legal processes, government institutions, official processes, however that would manifest for you. It can also be a very positive sign in terms of contracts, um, certificates, um, official stamps of approval. You kind of get what I'm saying here. So this would be here, Aquarius, uh, a very favourable thing for you. It's generally a just and fair decision that's in the light of truth that restores that sense of balance and harmony. So taking that into account, certainly in terms of money, career, finances, the nine of wands and the three of cups, I don't know if I'm going to celebrate, you know, I don't know if this is going to end well. Well, you're being told, actually, you're one step away. There's one final push. Sometimes that's the assertive energy that we need because really in this energy, we, we're drained, we're tired. Something has been, been a lot of effort and hard work, a particular path, an experience, a process. And you're just kind of like, you know, I just don't know if I have it in me to go the extra step, the, the last mile. We don't see that the end is actually one step away, one final push away. We don't see that here. But you're being told, actually, you're one step away from celebration, one step away from the winter is over, the spring is here. You're nearly, you're nearly at the end of this. You're near that finish line, so don't give up. That's what you're absolutely being told here. So that's what I'm seeing in terms of, because there's absolutely celebratory energy here with the Three of Cups. And this is what I'm seeing here, Aquarius. However this justice manifests for you, again, the Nine of Swords is, I just don't know. It's just been... You might have gone through a stressful time, something that causes you anxiety and worry, um, doubts, fears, all of these kind of energies. Remember the Nine of Swords is always over magnified. It always kind of like um, makes things seem far worse than they even are, even though it's based in fact. There is a reason for you to feel that way. This is when we over focus and overthink about it. It just gets worse. It just builds up and builds up in our own head. And it becomes quite destructive as a result of that. because It's because you don't know. You don't know what's going to happen here. However, the cards are indicating that whatever this justice stands for, this is very favourable for you. So really it will be an energy of spirit telling you not to worry, but realising that you are going to, you know? Because again, you've had testing energy here. And it is this, the... Six of Cups in the Sun, this is delight. This is getting clarity on your situation. There is going to be a period, and just understand that here, Aquarius, where you're not going to know the answers, where you're not going to know how to move forward, how things are going to move forward here. Um, you're just being told, you're going to just persevere. Change is closer than you think. You're nearly at the end of this now. Whatever has tested you, been difficult, whether it's getting a new contract, finding, you know... Um, Getting a, finding new contracts, um, whether it's to do with, you know, you've been tested in your current circumstances, either through changes in employment or in an employment area, 
This is the energy here of you have been persevering on a path to bring that sense of a new contract your way. This will be the energy here. And this will be a card of delight. The Six of Cups is can be when we come back to our ourselves. We're happy. We're joyous. We feel that sense of, of jumping for joy as children. You know, this is that pure delight. The Sun and the Six of Cups is jumping for joy because it's a yes. It's a positive you know, good news, celebration, joy, happiness, it all comes good. Even though you've been worried about something, this is a very positive yes. Now, it can also be very good in terms of outcomes, like I said, through official processes, legal processes, government processes. The additional meaning with the Six of Cups, it can also be about returning to a place from the past or a connection from your past being influential and bringing good news your way. And again, yes, that can be in the form of opportunities. Um, so however that manifests for you here, Aquarius, it just feels like there's so much that you don't see. You're, you're kind of like, you can only go, you're kind of feeling your way a little bit in the dark here. You just know that you have to keep on putting one step in front of the other and then there's the next step to do and then there's the next step. And you're just kind of like, I have no idea when the end is going to be to this. You're being told you're actually near the end of this. So what you really put your time and energy into, you're going to get that sense of the reward here. Because this is the energy here, the Two of Pentacles. I have no idea which way it's going to go. I have no idea. I'm waiting on some decision here, but I have no idea. You're being told it's going to go very favorably for you. Again, the Page of Wands and the, and the eight, of, eight of Swords, suddenly everything changes in a very positive way. You know, the Page of Wands is good news. It can even be to do with things like opportunity, if you've been pursuing multiple opportunities. But this can be just conversations out of the blue, uh, can be very positive and bring sudden change in some way. So that's what I'm seeing for you here, Aquarius. There's just that sense here that you're going to be like, okay, I'm just kind of doing what I can right now. And then things just move forward in a very positive way. Because there's a blessing. This is Aquarius. This is you coming back to you. This is a strong sense of you seeing the light in this situation here after some kind of potential loss. Uh, the Five of Cups can be something ending for you. Again, Five of Cups can be a loss of any kind. Job, your own business, um, inheritance loss, you know, some kind. Um, relationship loss, you know, I mean, whatever, whatever this scenario would be for you, the Five of Cups can be uh, all is not lost in this situation, even though we feel it is. There's absolutely every reason for you to be hopeful and positive. And you're being told in this situation here, there's blessings and wish fulfillment coming your way. But sometimes we just have to move forward in faith. Because it's all going to come good for you. And that's what you're being told here, Aquarius. Uh, and it looks like all of a sudden everything becomes clear in a very, very positive way for you. This will be a resounding yes. If you're waiting for an answer, this will be a resounding yes. Uh, success, good news, celebration, joy, happiness. After darkness, you know, um, light after dark energy. You know, the five of cups can be, you know, when we look back, we mourn what's gone can even be your own business even as well with the Five of Cups energy. But this is all is not lost in this situation here. Sometimes we have to, you know, uh, in dealing with some kind of ending, you're moving forward in faith to new blessings and wish fulfillment. And you're nearly at the end of this process in getting there. And that's what you're being told. And I feel all of a sudden you feel like you're treading water wondering which way things are going to go. And then all of a sudden, there's a kind of big move forward. Just all of a sudden, things change very, very quickly. And you're being told as part of this process, you know, it's safe for you to love. 
you know so again however this manifests for you here Aquarius self-love open up to new love if there was some kind of ending here this would be the scenario here now in a current relationship Well, it's not really a current relationship. This would be a scenario here. And I feel this is somebody from your past. Um, because I see illumination on somebody who is re-entering your life in some way. With the sun, all of a sudden you get the answer. You know how you want to move forward. Um, and that's what I'm seeing for you here. Justice and the Nine of Swords... definitely feels in this situation here like you're worried on what the right thing to do is and then you get the answer in terms of this person re-entering your life in some way because again the nine of wands and the three of cups is suggesting that you've got experience with this person you've got history with this person with the three of cups this can be you might meet this person at some kind of gathering or social event in some way. It could be at a family gathering. It could be a friendship. It could be even a reunion energy. They could even be asking you to reunite with them. However this happens, it looks like somebody from the past is re-entering your life in some way. But you're reserved. You're reserved because you've got history with this person. And you're not sure whether you want to go down that route again. And that's what I'm seeing here. And you're not sure what the right thing to do is, but I definitely see that you're getting illumination on that here, Aquarius. Because again, where you're kind of like, do I, don't I, will I, won't I? There's conversations. Just moving forward very, very quickly. Or this person is saying, hey, let's move forward. Let's keep the communication lines open. Let's this feels like that sense of out of the blue, all of a sudden there's communication, conversation, someone wanting to move forward, someone wanting to give it a go with you again, someone asking for another chance to start over with you again in some way. And that's what I'm seeing here. The chance of that here. And the two of pentacles, well, there's a choice to make or a decision, but this is where you're like, will I, won't I, do I, don't I? I'm not sure if I want to. You could get some advice from friends as well. You could meet people, you know, at some kind of... Uh, Three of Cups can be linked with family, can link with friends. Um, can be, you know, community. It could even be a work community as well. Um, but this, you could be either meeting them at that, or again, it could well be they're wanting to reunite with you straight. You know, this can be the energy here. The Five of Cups and the Star. I regret what happened between us. And I'm hoping that we can, you know, give this another go. Sometimes we have to have blind faith, you know, with the Star energy and move forward in blind faith. So this is what this person is asking of you. Now, it's interesting here. I mean, free will, you're going to have a decision to make here. I feel that you're going to get an answer. That giraffe is that sign that you're going to see you're going to rise above all the emotions and all the thoughts that are going on in your head and see things very clearly in terms of how you move forward. The interesting card I've got here, Aquarius, it's safe for you to love. So, free will, but there's a definite energy here of, of I feel that there is the potential of renewed love with this person and the opportunity is going to be presented to you. And you're wanting either, you're wondering what the right thing to do is. There's some kind of choice or decision to make. I feel that they definitely regret how things ended between you and they want a chance to make it right you know this could also be if it wasn't love romance relationship this could also be a friendship too so the decision will be with you you know i think that you're really being told wait until you're clear before you give somebody an answer and i do feel that that sense of clarity illumination is going to come your way. 
but this feels like very it just feels very positive uh, sun and the six of cups if someone is re-entering your life it just feels uh, there's the, the potential of something very positive with this person and sometimes people are wiser having gone through life experience so free will but that's what i see for you i'm going to pull a spirit message for you What do we have for our lovely Aquarians? Thank you. Message for Aquarius. You are not alone. We are here for you. We never left. Through all the sadness and loneliness, however, you cannot sense as near you or feel how much love we are sending you. We are your family, friends and guides. You never walk alone. We walk right beside you. All right, let's pull you a final message. Final message for Aquarius. Final message for our lovely Aquarians. Thank you for the month of October. Angel Spirits Guide. Thank you. Field Mouse success. Believe in yourself and dare to dream big. That's what I have for you, Aquarius, for the month of October. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month. I will see you next time.